All right, so this is how it turned out. Um, I also sanded it down right along there, but basically you can see that the hole is not perfect. Um, and also this one kind of veers off to the side. Um, but, you know, this is what's going to fit in there. And when I fit this in, um, you know, it's going to basically look like that. And you, you're not going to be able to see, you know, how, how good or bad those holes are. So that's what I've got on both of the fenders. So I think that uh, looks pretty good. Um, so, you know, uh, and as I said, I have the other deck lid here. It has a narrower um, thing here for the license plate cover. And, um, you know, to, uh, since I have a 61 body on a 65 pan, then the question is, is you want the whole 61 body to look like 61? The answer is probably yes. So I probably will redo the um, deck lid. Um, but this is way better than the 65's uh, front. You can see there's really not very much uh, rust damage there at all. And this looks good in here as well. So, uh, all right, I wanted to show just a couple of things. So first I have this, one of my four fenders I have done already in Lotus White. And unfortunately I refurbished the um, 1965 deck lid before I decided to bail on that body. So, you know, it's the same shape, but it's got two holes here on the outside. So I have to figure out if I'm gonna, um, what I'm gonna do about that. Um, I'll probably just use the other deck, deck lid. And I have uh, this guy that I've already shown. Um, I wanted to show the, um, holes that I cut out for the turn signals in the front fenders. Okay, I've um, thrown in the towel on the 65 body. I have um, just too much rust and too much work, so I'm taking this, I've kind of taken off what I, what I wanted to take off, and um, it just, I think this was just gonna be too much work, uh, and I'm not experienced enough to do it. So what I did, I found a body that is um, in much better shape. And I actually, what I did is I, I sold the 1300 motor that was in here. And for the exact money that I got for that, I bought this, which is a 61 body, which is in way better shape. There's only uh, one bend I have to take care of here on the uh, right quarter to get this out. Um, but in terms of the actual body, um, it looks just much more solid. It doesn't have the sunroof. The entire back part is pretty good with the exception of that one spot. Um, there's one spot here. Uh, and then this one here. Uh, and then this little one here. Um, but you know, I have the doors, I have the, uh, the older deck lid is good. The front bonnet is good. Um, and I already have, I've already started working on the uh, Lotus White fenders. So I'll still have to do the um, heater channels, um, but that's much better. So my job for today actually is uh, number one, to get rid of this beetle um, and just to uh, it return the U-Haul trailer, which, uh, by the way, you can put a beetle in a five by nine uh, if you leave the tail open and use some chains. Um, that worked great, I towed it with the bus. Um, my job today is to basically take off the uh, torsion bar. I've ordered new uh, rubber and clamps for the torsion bar, but I'm gonna take off the torsion bar, sand it down, paint it black. <laughs> I'm starting small. Um, the reason being that I had to order two new lower uh, torsion arms uh, because A, this one doesn't match, and B, I broke this off. So um, I've got the top torsion arms off, but I couldn't take the bottom ones off because of this torsion bar. 
So I'm gonna bend this, hammer this off, hammer these clamps off. I've ordered new ones. Get this torsion bar um, just refurbished before I continue with the uh, front beam. So that's my plan for now. Um, really this back left quarter is the only thing I'm gonna have to do a repair on this and just get the channels. But this looks pretty good. That's, uh, seems pretty savable in terms of what goes around the um, heater channels. And I had to take my uh, steering column and the steering tube out of the other Beetle. It fit perfectly. I have to get the little grommet bushing thing that uh, is the rubber thing in the front part. Um, but, you know, that all looks uh, pretty good. This is a better starting place. It has the smaller windows and I won't have a matching pan to body, unfortunately. It's gonna be a 65. 65 chassis on a 60 with a 61 body on it but i mean if you look at let me show you the uh inside of the um where that front clip is i was gonna have to get the front clip which is a 300 300 part um all right but if i look at uh how this one looks. Well, I think I'm gonna... Anyway, the front clip is way more solid and is totally usable. And so I should be able to, um, you know, avoid probably $2,000 of sheet metal. I really just have to get the, the two heater channels and then probably be a little crafty with this one uh, just in order to get everything to uh, to fit cutting off two pieces off the old beetle to put on this one and uh, we'll go from there but as I said today is uh, time for the uh, front a little bit of progress on the front beam all right well I finally cleaned up cleaned up I got rid of the old 65 beetle body so now what I've got is the 61 it's up on the stand I got the doors I have the um, deck lid for the 61. It's kind of unfortunate because I already <laughs> redid the deck lid for the 65. Um, but anyway, I have uh, three of the four fenders. One of them is already done upstairs. I have my, um, you know, I have my chassis in there the right way. I got the grommet here for this guy for the uh, fuel, and I'm just kind of slowly working my way. Oh. What I got here, black seam sealer, which is going to go all along here, both on the top and the bottom, just to uh, seal that. I'm hoping one of these tubes is enough, basically, for the top and the bottom. I'm going to use it sparingly and make sure that I can get, get all those seams sealed. And my dirty job right now, oh, see, I had sold my, my 1300 motor for exactly the amount that I bought this uh, 61 body for. And um, so now I have to put the 1968cc motor back up on the, on the stand. And I have two new uh, bottom torsion arms coming, I think today. So you can see uh, this is a nasty job. I've got the spindles cleaned up and I'm working on this um, I don't think I'm going to get into the actual torsion bar itself other than getting some grease in there, but um, I'm really just trying to get a coat of black rust reformer and uh, black gloss on this so that I can put it back up on the uh, back on the front of this chassis. And that's my progress.